to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Bodies are powerful. This body we play with is very powerful. Believers are trained to honor their spirits and leave their bodies, not knowing that what gives your spirit authorization is the body. Whenever we talk about bodies, we hate it, we make it look like this is the reason this satanic, demonic thing. You keep insulting your body till the day there is a separation. When that body is deteriorated to a point, whether your spirit is prepared or not, once it can no longer host your spirit, it will leave. And unfortunately, there has not been any record in scripture where he took another spirit, listen carefully, no record in scripture where he took the same spirit and put in another body. I know that we teach the concept of reincarnation. What happened between Elijah and John the Baptist was not reincarnation. It was a transference of the spirit and the power. One day I will explain it to you. I know there are many cultures that teach all those things and science and even psychology has researched people who seem to have lived in other lives and come. It's not for me to create this argument. I've read it too. But I can tell you, remember the believer's reference is scripture. It is appointed unto man to die once. And after that, I rest my case. This is what the Bible says. So whoever you saw in your dream, hold on. By this revelation, most of the people you see in your dreams are not the people you knew. They are just demons trying to use imagery and destroy you. You must cast them away. Is someone learning? This is very powerful. Most believers do not understand the principles of dominion. So for dominion to truly happen, you need God, the giver of that authority. You must be a spirit. That body must be resident, that spirit must be resident in a material body. And there must be mind, that mind to interface it. When that happens, you are the one God was talking about. Now, please look up. Do you know that authority over earth was not given to man under the condition that if he is saved? Listen carefully. When you are saved, the authority you have structurally, listen carefully, over demons, and every force that is antichrist that fights God but every human being who lives in a body enjoys this mandate of legitimately functioning on earth whether you are efficient or not is not the issue you have a body that allows you to function are you getting it now and that body is what Satan is looking for preferably a body that is not joined to Christ because you will understand what the life of God means the Bible says that when you get saved the Spirit of God comes is your body not the temple not just your spirit there is a joining with the Spirit of God in fact Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10 when you read the amplified it says finally brethren be strong in the Lord amplified it says be empowered through your union with him be empowered through your union with him. Now, please look up. I hope you know that the spirits 
the non-human spirits that are on earth are greater than the population of humans on earth do you know that and do you agree with me the bible lets us know that in the judgment of lucifer one third of the angels fell now we were not given an exact amount but one thing we know based on the character of scripture and then you can see the experience of the man in gadara a legion of demons all in one man even when we come to mount zion there are innumerable company of angels there is no human gathering that cannot be counted on earth but even the angels who are also spirit beings are innumerable not to talk of demons the angels that come to a meeting are innumerable and yet they are not up to one third of the angels that fell what does this mean this then means that the earth is immersed in several kinds of spirits and the principal assignment of most demonic spirits is the search for human bodies they are not just there listen carefully they are not just searching for human bodies to possess alone they are searching for human bodies who can partner with them the devil does not need to possess a human body to use the human body the human body can as an act of your will say satan i want to partner with you the same way you can walk with the holy spirit the spirit and the bride says come so what then is witchcraft and what then is divination and all of this ancestry and all of these things satan through manipulation comes to men and now seeks fraternity with their will so let me work with you to complete that dominion equation and he can use it today every manifestation of authority and dominion you see satan exerting he got it from man that means satan will become powerless only when the last unbeliever on earth dies provided there is one unbeliever whose spirit is not yet joined to christ satan still has a window of opportunity are you seeing why he hates evangelism because for as long as you preach and people come to christ you are reuniting their spirits with the spirit of christ and now that makes it impossible for him to be joined to any human spirit and then second to evangelism he hates the teaching ministry because when you enlighten believers you bring them to a place of understanding he no longer can use their minds please listen very carefully when you call somebody a witch now classically speaking witchcraft has to do with deception i've taught you but there are human entities from scripture and from history who have chosen as an act of their volition when you meet somebody in a shrine and the person tells you i am a wizard or i am practicing occultism what exactly is the person doing i will tell you either by ignorance or by willfully submitting himself he has brought himself to donate that dominion mandate to now partner with the realm of the spirit and satan can use it to cause havoc and give him a momentary succor not knowing that the life of god already provided that however if you ever see dominion on earth it was not outside of the participation the influence and the cooperation of man this is very 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 powerful for as long as the word was in heaven as great as he was and he is not much could be done on earth he used men when it was time for jesus to come to the earth to die he didn't just come as the spirits of the living god called the word the bible says the word became flesh now the bible also shows us that i'm going to make a statement i hope you don't see this as a racist statement in the manufacture of human bodies it is possible for a man to be absent but a woman can never be absent it is possible for a spirit to play the role of planting the seed 
but as far as adding a material frame to that spirit is concerned it will have to be the womb of a woman that will do that job so the father of Jesus it was the Holy Ghost that played that fatherly role even for Jesus this also justifies the fact that there are humanoid species carrying bodies but are not pure humans there is what we call the generation of the serpent I have done a teaching on this There are human beings on earth. This is how far Satan went. I told you, you cannot manufacture a body outside of this. So, studying the whole biology of reproduction, Satan now saw that there is still a window of opportunity where a spirit can play the role of a man and a male. If you understand this, please don't be offended. But if you understand this, you will know where many diseases come from many diseases you see are a reaction by an unauthorized spirit now meeting with a material when a woman's stomach begins to protrude like pregnancy and you find out that something is growing in the similitude of pregnancy but it is not pregnancy and is hurting her and she would tell you I went to bed and a spirit came to sleep with me or do whatever and I got up from the realm of the spirit physically I'm seeing manifestations that are hurting me that is an aberration because for a proper child to come a proper child to come it has to be a pure spirit are we together a pure spirit a pure spirit means a spirit from God that has not been unadulterated as far as creation is concerned let me tell you this when you minister deliverance for people you will see that out of every ten about eight or seven are women it's not because they are bad there is an agenda that Satan has and unfortunately the church is very ignorant planting all kinds of things it's in your bible jesus said when men went to sleep an enemy came and planted a seed is that in your bible and they woke up and they began to see two kinds of plants growing one was not planned for the other one was the correct one and jesus said don't worry let them grow you will know the difference as they mature because if you want to kill all of them at this level you will not know who is who that plant you see he was talking about human beings he shall be like a tree planted so human beings are growing but there is another entity that has come to plant another kind of humans he said don't worry when they get to a state of maturity you will be able to distinguish and you will know i i wish i'm not the person who would teach you this but if you believe everybody on earth is a pure human think again think again what I'm telling you is not news to a traditionalist. It's not news to an occultist. It's only news to many, many Christians who do not press to learn. Let them have dominion. Let them have dominion over the sea, over the air. That is the reason why a native doctor can go and sit down and use water and tell you your name is this and everything he's saying is accurate I'll be teaching you by the next series the elements of the supernatural if the supernatural must ever find expression in this realm it cannot be outside of these elements light water the earth wind or sound any manifestation of the supernatural must be in partnership with these elements if you speak in the name of Jesus arise this is the power of the air you are taking advantage of it if you bring revelation to people and it changes them that is the power of light are we together now this is very powerful now let me tell you this I submit to you I love the body of Christ for most people who are veered off and gotten into occultism in search for power when they go to seek for power these are the same things they teach them the only thing is that because the spirit of god and the spirit of grace is not the one doing this 
you call a thing divination not because of its accuracy or inaccuracy the spirit that sponsors it matters so even if you are genuinely healed and it's not brought about by the spirit of god it does not bring god glory the holy spirit has to be the originator of that spiritual process and the sustainer of it to bring glory to god I can tell you, you all know this. Go to your village and say, I have a headache. It's not Panadol they will give you. Sometimes they will say, come, sit down on this grave. Stand up after five minutes and you will be surprised. Headache has gone. They use divination to manipulate a correct mystery. A correct mystery that can be accessed by light. Are we together? It is true. If you want to discuss the subject of dominion, your heart must be opened. And your heart must be inclined to scripture. Otherwise, you will learn a lot of nonsense. You will learn a lot of rubbish. But at the same time, if you do not learn the principles of dominion, you cannot command power in this world. Many believers are weak because although we are godly, we do not know how. It says, knowest thou the ordinances of heaven and canst thou establish the dominion thereof. So what do I do when I go to bed and a spirit just appears and is disturbing me and is threatening me? Ah, in Jesus' name. No, it will not happen to me. Nothing is going to happen under that condition of fear and ignorance. There has to be exactitude. You need to even understand what is happening. Why did the spirit come? What is the spirit looking for? And how can you end and close that door once and for all? Are we together? How do I hold money, finances, and it just disappears from my hand? Doors of favor closes. And then I go to a herbalist, God forbid, just an example. And then you go to that herbalist and he says, what do you want? Money, I've suffered. And he said, all right, I know what to do. Go and bring a chicken. Go and bring a goat. He never said, go and bring a business idea. Go and bring a chicken. Go and bring a goat. He does not care. He will not even ask you, what are you doing? Just bring all these things. They will slaughter it. They will ask you to say a lot of things. Bring the picture of your child or whoever you love that you must kill. And then you bring the person there and then when he does everything, drink this, do that, and you say it's done. And you will get up and go and sit down in your shop. And human beings will start coming as if something is chaining them. And they start buying everything and you're saying it's working. Then you go and introduce your friend through and it works. What did he do to you? He didn't bring new products to your shop. He did something to the realm of the spirit and took advantage of that dominion of man and program a climate the same way too when a man of God stands in partnership with the Holy Spirit and I declare over you and I say in the name of Jesus you see that now understand what I am doing how do you say it will not work Let me tell you the truth if you're a man of God in these end times and you do not understand the mysteries of creation alongside dominion you may not live to finish your ministry I'm not a prophet of doom I am telling you that the end times will demand high level spiritual intelligence understanding the ordinances of the spirit especially if you stand pure to name the name of Christ Satan will use every every law of the spirit within his power to attack you and hopefully separate your spirit from your body so that you do not just get up and see a gentleman who is the breadwinner of a family just goes to school just when he wants to get a job and help the family he just, my head my head and he lies down and that's all and people say ah look at this please there are explanations to this mystery that when you have this understanding you can now say I have dominion and it's not just a cliche you go back and when you are praying you understand authority that there is something you can do to your climate and go to bed 
and let any spirit cross the circumference of that climate you have programmed laws and left them in the realm of the spirit hallelujah until cctv camera came from a layman standpoint we did not know there is a possibility to record events around your environment even while you are sleeping someone brought that technology now you have the privilege of going to lie down and even if something happens they can use the cctv system now they use drones and they use this they can literally watch a a very large landmass these things are borrowed technologies from the realm of the spirit read your bible you will never hear any mention of God or Jesus getting up to walk around heaven to check who is rebelling. He sits on that throne and yet nothing antichrist survives. By what technology does he use? God has never been threatened to stand up to say someone is fighting me. And yet the evil from your heart he detects it and there was war in heaven. It was Michael that fought, not God. listen man of God if you do not understand this the devil will weaken your congregation weaken your ministry this end time ministry is a ministry of understanding and authority and power there are many people who do not know this wait until I teach you next week the mystery of altars listen don't miss koinonia next week I'm just giving you a background I want to open your eyes to understand the legitimate systems of authorization in the realm of the spirit nothing just happens everybody's just coming to my ministry my business my company no sir it does not just happen whether by divination or whether by spiritual understanding but unassisted you will remain weak I assure you on that when you learn this you can now take charge over your family over your business because you will be learning that territories are made up of altars they are made up of gates they are made up of doors you can be in Abuja and yet you are not yet in Abuja I've taught you this my dear people you know this more than that. apostle have been there for 20 years no if the city does not know you and the region does not know you you will now find out why God had to say hear ye him what is what was the meaning of that statement hear ye him who was he speaking to you will now know why you can stand in the presence of God and call forth a destiny helper because you are standing upon the earth and the earth is a universal point of contact because every human being must make contact with that earth you and the person who you need the help there is something that puts you in common you are all standing on earth one of those elements of the supernatural so you can't listen listen we are going to pray but look at me how does someone stand in a coven and a shrine and call someone from America and says you are the one who will be the breadwinner but I command you to come back home and the person just gets up and says I feel like going back and he goes back home and then 10 years later if you say that person has ever gone to the city center they will not believe it and yet the person is there and the person who called him is still sitting on the ground quietly show us the ancient path will you lead us along eternal highway we want to follow the ways of jesus we want to enter show us the ancient path will you lead us along eternal When it was time for Elijah to call down fire from heaven he would have been surprised if he just stood and said I am Elijah the first time he was calling fire he didn't need anything he just called fire and it came on men but this fire he was calling was not just to consume men there was a mystery 
and he said the first thing I would do set up 12 stones according to the tribe of Israel when they set them up he says pour water keep pouring water pour water again pour water and when he put everything he said now oh God the earth is already ready let the realm of the spirit respond the Bible says fire came it licked everything the goal of my teaching tonight is to reveal three things number one that it is true that the dominion blessing and mandates that God gave man is not a scam is not fake God actually gave man dominion over earth but that number two it will take God and man in partnership for any divine program to find expression in the earth God limited himself that way it will take God and man please hear me God and man for your destiny to rise God and man for there to be exploits in your life God and man for your church your ministry to rise God and man for your business to rise if God says yes and man says no yes remains in the realm of the spirit but if yes must transport itself to this domain he must say yes and a man on earth must say yes the spirit and the bride say come from the foundations of the earth the lamb was slain yet nobody was saved from that the lamb had to assume a mortal human body and he came and walked for 33 years and died a physical death the death of Jesus was not a parable it was not a vision he died truly with blood as the evidence his resurrection was not a vision when he resurrected in glory watch this I have told you one of the major reasons why we believe that Jesus will return is because he went to heaven with his body so whatever will limit him from coming back to the earth has been taken away he does not need a virgin to return back he needed it the first time but now he returned back to heaven and he's seated at the throne as a man so human bodies can transit this realm and they can sit down that's why i know that we can arise and we can also go and as we are going there is a translation in this body mortality will be swallowed up by immortality the bible says you have to know what your christian faith is founded upon if not you will just be nodding oh it's this my pastor said this and yet not have any authority in the spirit as far as you can see it says to you i have given you will now know why we make decrees in the spirit how do you speak about your office right here that you are not you are you are standing here and you are declaring in the name of jesus destiny helpers are coming by what authority are you speaking when satan took jesus up the mountain jesus did not rebuke him if you understand authority eh, it will change your life look at this the Bible says demons tremble and all of that at the name of Jesus but Satan is carrying Jesus in his earth walk and playing with him like toys lifting him up a mountain and telling him bow down to me and I will give you this for it was given to me given by who given by man man did not know that all my manipulations in the garden was to transfer that authority now i have it i can give it to whomsoever i want but when jesus died when he resurrected he went to hell first and collected the keys the bible says it that key you see is what we gave satan access but now he collected it and he rose again with it and he gave it back to us all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me it says go therefore go with the consciousness of that authority 
not just the authority by reason of being a human species now authority by being in Christ listen when you stand before principalities and powers and tell them I am Joshua Selman you are talking nonsense mm -mm. you stand there as touching the authority that you represent Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who speaks in the name of our God. Blessed is he who sings in the name of our God. Blessed is he who heals. In the name of our God, we do it in the name of our God. Ah. In the name of our God. Jesus said, In my name, they shall cast out devils. In my name, carry my name as you go with it. In my name, in my name stand in my office as you cast out devils in my name you will know that the name he gave you is not the pronunciation j-e-s-u-s -S. there are footballers called jesus their names do not heal in the name hallelujah the Bible says wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name the name he gave you is not J-E-S-U-S J-E-S-U-S is the earthly name of the one that name was given to the word name means an office a delegation he was given an office and that every believer in Christ can work in that office are we together now you can work in that office and that that office is so powerful listen let me teach you something I'm, I'm rushing ahead of myself we're going to pray by reason of being a human body or wearing a human body listen carefully your function in the earth is legitimate but you may ne not necessarily be efficient your efficiency in the spirit is more than just being a human being you must be joined to christ and you must have that name now the the zone and the scope the limitation of your authority is the limitation of the name so it does not matter whether it is an ancient spirit somewhere it does not matter whether it's an invisible realm somewhere ordinarily as a human being i can only correct and control things within my visible domain but now i have been given a name that took off that boundary are we together now so i can stand and speak and even in the invisible realm hear me the only person who does not submit to that name is God because he was the one who gave the name to Jesus <laughs> ah. of things in heaven of things in the earth read your Bible of things under the earth I hope you know that when he gave man dominion in Genesis 1 26 the scope of it was just earth. but now the name read the dominion mandate that was given to the man not the regenerate man in Christ when Jesus came he gave man something more excellent that name you are given has authority and establishes your dominion not just in the earth alone of things in heaven of things in the earth and of things under the earth it's a spiritual location This is the basis 
because can I tell you every manipulation of witchcraft functions within these three realms the realm of the heavens the realm of the earth the realm under the earth now you have been given a name that gives you immunity is for you to have that understanding if you understand the power of the name So let it not surprise you when you see demons running away because you showed up you are coming in the name you can do business in the name please don't miss next week's meeting the Lord gave me a revelation of altars years ago I did a teaching on the altar of prayer and in it I taught how that you see you will now understand the relevance of things like prayer sacrifice all of these things if you just do them blindly because they said do it you will not get any blessings from it is the reason why many people have done it and nothing has worked for them you will be learning about the mystery an altar is not a demonic word it's a powerful word because the very throne that God is sitting on is an altar the very throne is an altar and he sits upon that altar as many things one of it i'll be teaching you next week is the advocate ah. <laughs> he says we have an advocate with the father even jesus the righteous when you understand his power of advocacy it now brings the cure to causes and bloodlines and legal holds there is the ministry of the advocate you need to understand what he does as the advocate hallelujah because there are many believers and i will keep telling you this we can live in denial but you continue to see patterns following people you can you continue to see a lot of things if time allows i will show you in the bible great people who did not survive they did not conquer the patterns that came with them and they were victims of it including john the baptist including G judas i will tell you one of the reasons why they died early when you look at the life of john look at the kind of pain and sorrow the mother had number one they had delay in childbirth is it in your bible after delay for a long time then john comes and then his whole life of adulthood was in the wilderness and he only manifested for just a few years ordained jesus to ministry got into trouble and died under the hands of a little girl as a birthday gift add it up is that how god rewards people but that is the power of altars they don't care whether you're a man of God they don't care whether you're a businessman look let me tell you the truth come next week ready to pray we're going to pray a bit you see I'm, I'm wrapping up don't think this time is for you to go home early we are going to take time and pray and pray for God's sake this is the season where you must break out hear me true story Years ago, a man of God came to see me. That was in Zaria. And the man of God was saying several things were going wrong in his life. And as soon as I sat down, I used to sit down counseling that time. And suddenly my eyes were open. And I saw this strange spirit standing behind him. And I was, because, you know, respectfully speaking, he was talking very arrogant. He didn't look like he was willing to learn anything. And I told him, I said, sir, please, if you will allow me, I want to pray for you. I see a spirit. He said, no, 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 don't bring all that thing. I just want you to agree with me. I said, all right. How do I help this man now? I said, all right, no problem. Let's pray. I said, in Jesus' name. It was after maybe two, three hours, that guy got up from the ground. He went back and for more than three days, he kept sending a text. He said, Apostle, you have rubbished my theology. I said, no, that's not the goal. I'm only expounding to you the way of the kingdom more perfectly so that you will understand. Can I tell you, most of you, by reason of this series, honestly, you will be surprised to see the things that start happening.
doors of jobs, doors of opportunities. Hear me, help them please, help them. One of the major things that will be addressed in this series, you see, is the patterns of sicknesses, ill health, these mysterious sicknesses you see, high blood pressure, uh, BP, doctors will tell you, medicine is being challenged with conditions right now that are defying medical explanations. The machine will tell you I am fine, but I know something is wrong. They put three, four, five pints of blood in a patient and you don't know the patient did not go to toilet, the patient did not, is not bleeding and they don't know where everything disappeared to. Hands that are tied down that cannot move forward. Women who labor and never eat from their children. They don't know why. Anytime somebody is about to rise and expand, those altars come again. Altars are systems of authorization. You don't cast them away. No. There is a legitimate ground upon which they exist. Even in the Bible, there is something called the foundation of the Lord. Is it in your Bible? Listen, I have seen by reason of what I do, I have seen witchcraft, I have seen ignorance, I have seen people ignore certain things. There is no believer seated who by default. Now I respect people's opinion across the body of Christ, but let me tell you this, the things we have seen, the things we have heard, the things our hands have handled, the devil can be silent over you for 30 years and make you feel you are free but the day that thing will arise hallelujah i once prayed for a woman there is no single man in her life all the men have just died like that very silly reasons Whether you come from the north, the south, the east, the west, the middle belt, I don't care. For as long as you came from the earth, this series is for you. You will have to sit down and tell yourself, it is time to walk in dominion. God gave me that dominion. I cannot continue to regret where I'm coming from as if it's a cause. Some of you right now, you have even lied and change your geography where you are coming from because it has looked like such a stigma in your life they say where are you coming from you say zion i agree i agree in christ you come from zion but physically people will find one story do you know people are tearing their indigenous certificates and looking for other regions they think have lesser evils there's no such phenomenon like lesser evil the whole world lies in wickedness I have seen great people go down. I have seen powerful preachers not know how to exert dominion with understanding. Africa prays. Let me tell you the truth. If half of our prayer was done with understanding, we would have overturned several things now. The way we continue to go dissipating energy in ignorance will only bring pain to ourselves. It says through knowledge shall the just be delivered. When God made that verdict, let them have dominion. It was not only you that heard it. Satan heard it. The spirits heard it. Let them, the men I have created, that Adam, have dominion. Over the air. Over the sea. These are realms. The sea. Do you know why? We'll leave that for another time. Do you know why it had to be the sea that drowned Egypt? Do you know that it was not land that ate them up? The song of Miriam, remember, I will sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horses and his rider has been thrown into the sea. 
there is a particular terrorist in the world who when they killed him they did not bury him they threw him in the sea there is a mystery this sea you see is very old there is no human being who is as old as water water is one of the three witnesses on earth because it does not leave earth it only recycles that means what you are drinking only God knows how many people have, have taken it the water in your fridge now it didn't come from water board it's been recycled from region to region dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development Lord grant me the discipline